Well, welcome, welcome to Pause on Wheels. What we got tonight? Tonight we're going to embark on a journey through the fascinating world of dog wheelchairs. I'm Jean Lewis, you may know by now. I'm your guide through stories of canine resili resilience, it's a hard word, and innovation that have revolutionised the lives of our beloved furry pets. In today's episode, we will explore the incredible world of dog wheelchairs and how they've changed the lives of countless dogs. So let's start, let's unpack the world of the dog wheelchair. Let's start at the heart of this matter and the heart of the matter is, what exactly is a dog wheelchair? And why do they play such a crucial role in the lives of some dogs? So to define a dog wheelchair, dog wheelchairs are ingenious. They're designed for mobility aids that empower dogs with physical challenges, enabling them to then move freely, play and lead a fulfilling, happy, healthy life. Common reasons behind a dog wheelchair use, because we need to know that. Well, dogs may need wheelchairs for a variety of reasons, due to conditions like spinal injuries, arthritis, myelopathy, or even a birth defect. They may have needed one from birth. They will elevate your dog's life with a, a quality that they would never have without this wheelchair. We'll uncover the transformative impact of the dog wheelchairs and make it possible for dogs to enjoy a life filled with joy and adventure. So what is the evolution of the remarkable dog wheelchair? Well dog wheelchairs have come a heck of a long way since their inception. So let's trace their remarkable evolution and discover the innovations that cater to the unique needs of each dog because every dog's different just like us each dog is different not the same so from humble beginnings to the modern marvels each dog with early dog wheelchairs were rudimentary but today they will boast a lightweight, durable and ergonomic designs. Years and years back, I mean, you'll see them on YouTube, you're going back years. People wanted to help their dog, they actually got the idea to make something out of whatever they could, an old push chair, whatever they could find. But of course, they've come leaps and bounds now and now you have the miraculous walking wheels, which are Rolls Royce of dog wheelchairs. So the cutting edge technology and smart designs that we have now, we're gonna delve into those and the latest innovations, such as the adjustable frames, versatile wheel options. There's a variety of wheels that you can buy, going from eight inch, up to 12, 14 inch and more, more than likely by now. Um, the adjustments will enhance their comfort and their mobility. Because if you don't get those adjustments right, your dog's not going to walk properly in them and won't be happy in them. So that's something we're going to focus on in the forthcoming episodes which I'll be bringing to you at least twice a week, hopefully more. So you have to tailor that wheelchair to perfectly fit your dog. 
you're going to learn, I'll show you, I'll tell you how the modern dog wheels can be customised to fit each dog's size, shape and specific mobility requirements. If it's their front legs or their back legs or one leg, the dog wheelchair can help them. So I just want to tell you, I'll just use one tonight. I have done this before. Heartwarming, inspiring stories of people who've got in touch with me and we're going to connect you. What we want to do is connect dog owners to other dog owners who uh, have experienced incredible transformations when using the dog wheelchair, which will help anyone out there who's listening to me now, if you're, if you're thinking, well, I don't think my dog is gonna to take to one of those, trust me, nearly 100% of dogs will take to a dog wheelchair if you get the right size, the right fitting, adjust it to your dog, right? You must remember, that's really important, because you can go and you can buy a wheelchair Great, but it doesn't matter if you've just bought a small or medium or large, you will still have to adjust it to your specific dog. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about that and use real life heartwarming stories from people who have been in touch about their dog, how they came to choose a wheelchair. Did they, they see it online? Did they see it on the TV? Did they hear word of mouth from someone who'd actually used one? Um, we've actually know a lady who was thinking, you know, a German Shepherd's legs went at the back, which is common with German Shepherds. And she thought, well, that's it. That's it. A dog like this needs to be able to walk and run about. He wouldn't be happy just stuck in the house. So she was thinking of the other option when a lady got in touch from um, one of the groups on Facebook and went, no, don't do that. Try a dog wheelchair. She didn't think it'd work. And hey, guess what? Oh, it did. And her dog, Jack, is running around happy as anything. You'll have seen him on some of our videos. So yes, they do work. You've just got to persevere if your dog doesn't jump straight in it, or you put him in it, sorry, right? He's not going to jump in if he's immobile. Uh, just That's just a word I use. So don't be surprised if you do get the wheelchair and you think, oh, I'll pop him in and we'll go for a walk, and he doesn't. But persevere, find out what's wrong, why he doesn't like it, is it not adjusted right? Is it level? Have you put it together right? All of these things you've got to think of. So don't be put off. This is all about helping your pet. So join us in conversations with dog owners. Uh, we are currently trying to get um, someone to join us up on podcasts who can, you can hear from them themselves. Meanwhile, I will tell you what they've told us. Lisa, who watched her paralysed dog Max rediscover his zest for life when he got his wheelchair. I mean, it's an emotionally filled journey. Uh, you, yeah, you'll, you'll experience ups and downs. Um, and you're going to have that. I won't kid you. You will have that. So I'll just say it as it is. There'll be ups and downs, but these remarkable stories from uh, the owners and their, from their dogs through their owners will show you how any dog can adapt to life with a wheelchair. Then we've got a lifelong transformation. These stories will show you how dog wheelchairs have not just improved, but have also fundamentally completely changed the daily life of the dogs 
who were immobilised through whatever reason and made their life worth living again. So, we're going to choose the perfect wheelchair. There's much to consider. All you have to do, if you want any help, is come through to me. I am, um, I'm not sure if you can see it, down here, I'll show it you. I'm certified by Walking Wheels to help choose and fit your dog into its new wheelchair. And I'll be quite happy to do that for you. You just get in touch and we will sort it. So, owning a dog wheelchair will come with challenges. But on the upside, it's a journey that you will relish because it's going to be filled with love, compassion and rewards just to see your dog walking and running again and happy of course because let's face it if a dog is immobilized they're not going to just lie in the house um, obviously if you've got an elderly dog they'll probably be quite happy to just stay where they are mostly but if it's a younger dog it's it's awful that they've got a full life to live so a dog can become totally depressed just lying in the house like Chica did. And that, that's another story which I'm going to go into again, even though I have mentioned it before. I'll go back over that because there's a lot I want to tell you about what happened to him, why we got into this, why I become a YouTuber. I didn't just wake up one morning and be one. <laughs> no, it was Chica. So I had that that passion and there has to be a passion I think so to become a real good youtuber and be yourself never forget be yourself if you ever go down that route so owning that dog in a wheelchair will come with its challenges but as I say it's filled with love and compassion fun laughter maybe upset when it doesn't go right at the beginning so you just learn how to provide the best care for your dog and you'll see that they'll lead a happy, active life. There's daily routines for wheelchair-bound dogs, obviously. From their feeding to grooming and maintaining their hygiene, which is very, very important. But we'll share our essential care routines with you that we've tailored for dogs who are in wheelchairs with mobility challenges. As I say, this is just episode one. I intend to go through lots of episodes with you. I mean, what I've just said, maintain their hygiene. It, it, this isn't a dog that's running about all day on its own. So you've got to remember that. It's like with Skylar who we've got. She lies down a lot, obviously. So you'll have, um, we don't use diapers. We really don't because that means that it's stuck onto her for whatever period. It doesn't matter how many times you change them. It can't flow free away from her. We use puppy pads and it's not a problem. There's puppy pads littered about all over the place. So, so what? <laughs> Who cares? You know, <laughs> it's for your dog that you love. So it's not a biggie, is it? Not really. So we don't use uh, diapers at all. So because of that, and it would be worse than that with diapers, that your dog just lying about will develop that's if your dog's incontinent, of course. Maybe they're not, and you'll be free from this. But if your dog is incontinent, they will, sooner or later, start building up a urine burn 
on their skin. You have to look out for that. Really important. Keep it well creamed. Um, anything, your, your vet will tell you what you want. So check out your vet. And as I say, over the, the further in episodes that we're having, you keep tuning in. I've got some great tips what we've had to do so I can share the benefit of that experience with you. Fun field exercises. Dogs love that. You'll discover a range of activities and exercises that won't only keep your dog healthy and fit physically, but will also show you how you can keep them mentally engaged. The enduring bond between dogs and owners will explore the heartwarming connections that often grow stronger and stronger as owners start to care for them in their wheelchair, their wheelchair bound companions. It gives you a different view of your dog. It really does. So, thank you so much for joining me in this tonight. This is dedicated to the incredible world of dog wheelchairs. We hope that you've been inspired and educated about these life-changing devices. And if you were thinking of the other option, because there's only two, if your dog's immobile, there's only two options. One is PTS, which you don't want to do, especially if you add your pet as a lifelong friend. Choose the other option. If they're immobile, choose this option. Go for a wheelchair. You'll never look back. I promise you, you'll never look back. And I can say that because we've never looked back. So I'm, I'm not a firm who's just trying to put out a wheelchair to you. I'm a real person who's lived this for what, the last three years now, four years. Before that, I was involved with them. But personally, I feel so grateful that we chose a wheelchair for Chica because it extended his life by two and a half years. And he was 15 when he went, on it? So don't even think, well, my dog's too old for that. And he lived till 17 and a half. So no, you're never too old and neither is your furry friend. So give them the chance. Please give them the chance and you'll look back and when their time does come, believe me, truly believe this, although it's grief and although it's heart-wrenching, what lifts you up is that you know you did the right thing when you got them a wheelchair because you gave them that extra little bit of life on this planet to be with you. And I mean that from here. As I say, I'm not selling anything. I'm just telling you from here how it is. Um, if you have a story to share or any questions at all about dog wheelchairs, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. So until next time, remember the love and the care we give our dogs knows no bounds. We know that especially us British are dog lovers. We're a nation of dog lovers. But you know, since I've been doing this, I didn't realise that a heck of a lot of countries throughout the world where who were actually watching our videos a lot, right? They're, they're quite nations of dog lovers too. I, I've been totally impressed with some of the messages I've had from, from all over, from Australia, America, India, Brazil, everyone, all over. It's great.
it's really great so please stay tuned come into our episodes for more heartwarming stories because i'll have more coming in now of paws on wheels that's that's what i've called this one this episode so as you know i'm gene lewis dog wheelchairs if you're looking for me um if you go up to the right hand corner there's a link up there it'll take you to our community channel please feel free to come in there talk about whatever you want um to, to do with dogs obviously um any problems you're having come in because uh i'm pretty sure i can help you and once more anything that you need to know about wheelchairs please come through ask me a question if you know anything and you've got tips because uh, I know heck of a lot but you know what nobody knows everything maybe you've got something for me that um, I haven't mentioned so it'd be great if you did so that's all for tonight don't forget I'll actually try and put it on next time when I'm going to be on. So, what I'd like you to do, because the more you do this, the better, and the more dogs get helped. So, thumbs up, like, share. Oh, here's the little one. Here's little Luna. She just wants to say bye bye. Come here then. Oh, and the French is coming. There you go. There she is. There she is. Yeah. They're so loving, isn't they? What? Yeah. So where was I? Like, share, and please, please, please subscribe. We're nearly at ten thousand subscriptions, and you know what that means. Boom! Off goes the confetti. So stick with me and tune back in again. And thanks for viewing. Thank you all.